y'all this is Tam welcome back to my channel today I'll be continuing with working in my junk journal and if um, you guys have never seen that before I showed it uh, in the video right before this one and I just take my signatures out of it to journal in and so um, I'm just journaling in one of those signatures here and I'm continuing to journal the happy mail that I got from uh, some of my uh, friends here on YouTube and subscribers so that's what I'll be doing on today and I just found a page that I liked and this is actually a book page and it has um, some information on it about plants and stuff like that so this is the page I'll be journaling on and this um, little uh, note card came from Connie and so that's the one that I'm going to be journaling now this is the envelope that it came in and she did a couple of uh, stamps on it and I'm I'm gonna just punch those out with my um, circle punch and I'm going to use those elements on the page as well so I hope you guys are doing well. I hope um, you guys are still hanging in there. If you've gone back to work or if you're still self-isolating at home. Um, I am still self-isolating at home. Um, but I have ventured out a couple of times. Um, I went um, to a memorial service for my friend who passed away from uh, complications with uh, sickle cell on today. And so, um, it's what I guess everybody is deeming a coronavirus, uh, funeral. I mean, he didn't die from coronavirus, but they're handling, uh, funerals a different way than they normally would because of the coronavirus. So they just let a few people at a time in to see him and pay respects. And that was the extent of that. So they didn't let everybody in at one time, like most of us are used to. But um, it did um, give me um, just the benefit um, of having the opportunity to just see him one last time um, and to just pay my last respects. So that's what we did. And um, I'm just going to remember all the good things about him and um, our friendship and how he was just a great friend, um, more of a brother than a friend, to be honest with you. And um, I loved him and I knew um, his love for me. And I'm just praying for his family and um, for, you know, God's peace and comfort during this time. So other than that, it's just been pretty much the same working from home trying to get a little crafting in when I can and um, that's pretty much it so hope you guys are doing well and I'm just putting some washi tape down on this page this is the only thing that did not uh, come from Connie this washi tape but I just wanted to washi tape over the words coming down the side of the page and so um, this card these little elements that I cut off of the envelope as well as this little journaling card came from her and this little sticker that I'm also going to put on there and I'm going to use just a little bit more washi tape to put on here because you can still see that writing and so I just wanted to use some uh, co some colors that kind of coordinated with the elements that I'm putting down on the page so I'm going to stick this little piece of green washi tape on there that kind of matches the green in the note card. So that is that. And I think I'm going to kind of have these accenting. And I'll glue those down with just some regular glue stick. And this journaling card is just going to slide underneath the... Um, from behind it's going to slide behind the card and kind of stick up like that with the beautiful um, um, washi and uh, not washi fabric ribbon fabric that um, she decorated it with so once again I just want to thank you guys for 
sending me, you know, these little encouragements. I appreciate it. Just kind of stick those down. And then I'm going to stick this sticker back down. I think I'll stick it up there. And just put some glue back on it because it did, I pulled it off of the envelope. So, and I'll stick it right there. And so that will be this page from Cunny. And I'll just do my journaling on the um, card that I stuck behind it. So, um, after this video, I'll just, you know, go back and do my writing on the card. And so that's that. And now I'm going to find a page for the items that I received from Lizbeth. And if you guys want to see me open this Happy Mail package, I opened it on my other channel, which is also linked below. It's a Bible journaling channel where I journal um, in my Bible and talk about my faith. So I opened um, these Happy Mail packages on that channel. If you want to see the opening. But this is just strictly um, me journaling with the items that were sent to me in my junk journal. So I'm just looking here off camera for a, another page that I could journal on. And I think I'll do this one. This page here to the left. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, I think I'll do this page. And so I'm just going to stick the washi that was actually stuck to the outside of the envelope. I'm going to um, recycle that and use it in this entry. I'm going to try to get it on here straight. And I may have to put a little bit of glue because I see it's kind of curling down here at the bottom. And that probably happened um, during the post. And it's not straight. I think that's better. Okay. Pretty washi. I love this washi, Lizbeth. Thank you so much for sending it. I'll just give you guys a close-up. I like it a lot. I'm going to try to save um, some of my washi sample to put in my washi journal. I think I'll be doing some of that in the next day or so. Um, working a little bit, working a little bit in my washi journal on this channel, just to um, try to document. The washi that I have and I'm going to glue the postcard down and I think I'm going to this little stamp is the cutest it's a frog now I don't do frogs but I like seeing them you know on stuff I don't do <laughs> reptiles and frogs and lizards and stuff. I don't want none of that stuff coming towards me. Especially at a fast pace. So I'm going to just take this stamp off of here and see if I can glue that down on the page. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Like it. I like it. And I'm going to just glue it down up here. And then I think this little spot here, I think I'll use that for my journaling. And that'll be pretty much it for this page. I may put down, because I have these two, this washi here and this one already on the page. And I got that from the outside of the envelope. But I think I'll um, put some of this teal blue one down as well. I think I'll stick it up here at the top. And then I'll put my 
little frog stamp on top of that like that and then I'll do my journaling in that in that um, spot here and that will be it for this page I'll do my journaling off camera just you know so you guys don't have to wait around for that And it's usually, honestly, my journaling, when you guys send me stuff like this, is just a short prayer. Just um, showing, you know, giving thanks for you guys thinking about me to the point of um, putting something in the mail, sending it to me. Because I know that is a blessing and it's a gift and so I don't want to take it for granted. So it's usually something short and sweet like that that I write down on these particular pages so I'm just going to put some glue on the back of the card and glue it down and that'll be it for this and my last little piece is going to be just a little card that uh, came with the chocolate that I received uh, from my best friend and um So that's that. And I'll do my journaling in that little block that you see there, that blank space there. So that is that one from Lisbeth. And last but not least, I want to do this one. I'll do it in a, uh, another page. Did you guys see my frog? Oh, it's so cute. I like that. I'll do a page and another one of these. And um, I think I mentioned before, I'm really almost done with this junk journal. And I'll do a flip through for you guys once I am done. But I'm having to search for pages now because um, a lot of them have uh, filled up. And then I'll have to determine what I want to use thereafter. I think I'll use this page. Um, and this is just basically, it's going to be like a, a flip up. And I think I want to put some, and these were some wrappers from the chocolate that I was sent, which I demolished. <laughs> I ate that like it was nobody's business. But I think I want to put some washi tape down on here as well. And then, um, I'll probably just do my journaling, you know, as a, as I flip this up, I'll probably do my journaling here, um, with every washi that I can find to cover, you know, some of the page. So let me just look really quick and see, or maybe I'll put a sticker down, something like that. Let me kind of look really fast through. I might even use an image from one of my magazines. Let me see if I can find something here. I like using magazine images, and I think I saw a couple um, about friendship. I don't know if it was in this magazine or if it was in another one that another one that I have. But I'm only pulling images from a couple of places, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. I may have to put you guys on pause for just a second while I find it. Okay, this is the image that I found. Um, sure, I've had I've seen some others but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this over with and so this is the top of the chocolate that I received and I'm just gonna glue this down as like a little flap and then um, it's gonna be able to lift and I'll do my journaling on the other side underside of this 
after it lifts but oh first I want to put down some of this washi tape up here and then I'm gonna put a little bit at the bottom and then I have some more uh, washi tape with some images on it that I'm gonna use to try to fill some of the page as well and then And I'm using uh, Fabri-Tac glue, as always, for the heavy stuff because it holds better than um, just regular glue stick. And so once that sets, it takes a few minutes, then, you know, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to put some washi tape at the bottom, this one, and then I'm going to use some of the washi tape with the images on it to kind of fill the page. Because, you know, like I said, I don't have much writing to do. But I do write a little bit on there. The rest of it is kind of like blank space. And I don't want to leave a lot of blank space. I want to try to fill most of it. That image is big. And then I'm going to put a couple other things. So I'm going to just glue this image down with, the, um, with just regular glue. And so you don't see it from underneath the peeking from underneath this this little flip. So this is the other washi tape, and it has like little images on it. I think I'm I'm gonna glue just bits and pieces of this down on here, just to feel some of this page. Where it's not all blank. And that's one of the things I like about this type of washi. Because at the end of the day, it kind of looks like just a regular sticker, right? So it kind of blends into the page and the images look you know just like a sticker you've you've stuck down instead of a roll of washi which is actually what it is but you can cut these in pieces and use them like you do stickers and it kind of takes up some of the blank space like that and one more I think And then the rest of this, I'll just fill with words and the date, stuff like that. So that's that page. And other than that, I think I'm going to glue down my, if I have room. I honestly may not have room, but I think I'm going to try to glue down my... Mother's Day cards that I got, but I may not have any space in this journal. I think I'm almost out of pages. And um, literally, I have just these um, these pages like this, these vellum pages. So I know I have about three of these that are blank that I could probably glue a card or two to that. But other than that, that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Just wanted to get the rest of that down. I'm not going to use these, obviously. Um, and that will be pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and say my outro. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I have a second channel. It's a journaling uh, channel where I journal in my Bible and talk about my faith. That is linked below. I also have an Etsy shop where I'm selling some of the stuff that I have handmade. And that is also linked below. And I will um, see you guys in my next video. As always, I appreciate you guys. And I look forward to seeing you and talking to you later. Bye.